I'm here at Evo again, but this time I'm, I'm I'm checking out this really cool game called Punch Planet. And here's one of the developer teams. His name is Will. Um, tell us more about the game and the story and the gameplay mechanics of it all. Uh, sure thing, man. The game's called Punch Planet, and it's a 2D fighting game. Um, there's three of us on the team making it. Um, we're going to be on Steam in a few months for early access. But the game is a 1v1 fighter. Um, it's very neutral heavy fighting game, um, but there's a lot of combo extensions, there's a, there's a parry mechanic, and the world of the game is set in a sci-fi universe, uh, the story follows the main character Roy, and he has to go to a planet to clear his name, and the planet is where people go to when they fight, and that's pretty much what the story is, and there's a lot of colorful characters, and uh, a lot of aliens, and stuff like that, and there's four characters right now, and right now we're just polishing up the game and hoping to early access it pretty soon. That's cool. And you said it will be available on Steam, right? Yep. All right. Oh, nice. And by any chance, how did you guys come up with the process of the, of the way this game was? Like, what was the influences? And on top of that, how, who, who was really the access of, like, who thought of this world and why it should be, like, a fighting game for this world? Well, uh, I've been making the game, uh, the game engine myself for a few years. Um, but I'm a programmer, so I don't really do art. So it was just, like, a base template until I found someone to collab with. Um, about a year and a half ago, I, I think up with my artist Lee, who does, who does all the art in the game, and he's responsible for the IP and the story and all, everything. Everything that you can see in the game is from the set. And um, we're all really big Street Fighter 4 players, so it kind of plays a little bit like Street Fighter 4. And uh, the story itself came, I mean, I, you have to talk to Lee about it, but um, it's mostly just uh, derived a lot of inspiration from like old sci-fi movies, and uh, like Alien, Blade Runner, stuff like that. Um, so yeah. And can you tell us more about the mechanics? Like you said, it played a little bit like Street Fighter Four. I was playing a little bit of it, but I felt like it was more like Third Strike, but technical Third Strike. Uh, yeah. So it's kind of like Third Strike in that it has a universal parry. Um, the parry beats meaties zero frame, um, but there's a lot of recovery, so that's the way it's different from Third Strike. It's, it's um, and it's like Street Fighter Four in the, that there's a roaming cancel me uh, mechanic. It's a lot like a FADC, but there's a lot more options you can do. You can make stuff safe, um, but it costs a, uh, a different meter bar than, than the EX bar. Yeah. And let's get more into mechanics because I like the way it is. Like, tell us the basic rundown for a newbie player will get into this world, this punch planet world. Like, tell us the basic mechanics and how will someone get good over time with it? Uh, yeah. So it's a six button fighter, just like Street Fighter. Um, light punch, light kick, is grab. But Every character only has a few special moves, but there's a lot of nuances to what they can do. Um, so like Roy can hold his gun, he's got a gunshot move and he can hold it and he can fake it. He can dash out of the fake. There's a lot of ways you can kind of express yourself uh, by trying to get the other guy off guard. Um, most characters have some way to fake what they're trying to do, like make the other guy think they're doing something and then switch it up. Um, that's something I really like and it plays into the meta so that you can bait their parries and then you can punish their parry and stuff like that. Um, but Really, the game to me is all about um, learning all the nuances to what you can do as a punish. There's like basically every situation in the game, there should be a way to convert to bigger damage. Like if it's an air reset or if it's like a combo extender or something like that, there's always like a different way to extend the combo. Like, and it's not always the same for what you do. Yeah, because earlier when I was playing earlier, there was really hype matches I saw with the newbie players that they got better over time yeah. when they got to learn. And it's a really fun game. It's really interesting. And uh, one thing about the uh, the Roman cancel mechanic is that it's pretty easy to do. The way it's input is you just double tap whatever button you're trying to cancel. So if you do a fierce punch, you're gonna press fierce again during the hip stop. And it does a few things. It's a little hard to get used to for people that play fighting games. But if you're not a fighting game player and you're playing, you're just matching. You're gonna get the cool uh, Roman cancel and do some weird combos that you weren't trying to do, but you can do it and it looks cool. Um, that's kind of cool for players because in other games, if the Roman cancel input like hard input, like two buttons or three buttons or something, um, they, they're not going to know about that. They're not going to like new players aren't going to really think about that for a while. Um, so if they're just matching, it comes out sometimes. Um, but if you're used to double tapping your input, you're going to get it on accident sometimes. But it's just something to get used to. Cool, cool. Well, that's my interview for this cool game that's going to come out. And it, well, do you know the release date or is it? Uh, Basically, it's once I get netcode implemented. Um, once uh, we wanted four characters and uh, netcode implemented before we put it out there, and so that after Evo, I'm just crunching on that, and then we're gonna put it out there. Yeah.
Um, you can follow us on Twitter at Punch Planet and our, our website is punchplanet.com. And definitely keep an eye out on this game because it might be in the big screen soon enough. Thanks, man. Thank you so much. Yeah, and have a nice day. Yeah,